Well, Friday night sports show, and in New South Wales, we enjoy the coverage for the Riverina and Farrah Football Leagues. And it's great to be able to each week see the leagues and the premiership table movements. Last weekend in Riverina, we saw one of the best performances of the season by the Lions. The GGGM Lions got home over the MCUE. Garman is in a top-of-the-table clash. One of the games of the season, 10-7-67 to 5-12-42. It was a third-quarter blitz by the Lions where they kicked five goals four to just the one goal four, and it was um, game over as the tough, wet conditions uh, took their toll on the bodies of both sides. The Goannas were well served. Served again by Trent Castles, who put three through Chambers, Price and Griffin in the losing side. But it was Foley with three, Hamlin with a couple, and Hamlin and Cumming amongst the better players, along with Walsh, who was outstanding for the Lions in the Round 14 clash. In other matches, it was Colin Gully taking the points against Turvey Park over at Mar Oval. The Bulldogs wanted to stay in touch with the finals, but unfortunately they couldn't get the job done and it was a very good performance from Colin Gully. They really did do the job in the end. It was well played to Perryman. He booted five goals to be the best player on the ground. Thomas Gardner was good and gunning also. Pope booted a couple to support E. Perryman and uh, very well played to him. Glanville fellows and Glanville, the two Glanville boys, for Turvey Park were okay in that match. As we hit to the other matches, and it was Leeton Witten beating Narandra 18 15 to 5 2. They've really found some form in this latter part of the season, Leeton Witten, but all too late for them. They had the good players in Ryan who kicked three. Gray and Dry Burr were good, but the, it was bad luck for Narandra. They just didn't get their best out there, unfortunately, and Dern and Grinter and Metcalf were their best in a losing side. This was the one, though, the Wagga Tigers 7 11 over. Kuhlman 4-5. Uh, it was a first quarter blitz by Wagga. Five goals to nothing and it set up this big win over the Kuhlman Rovers who are on a free fall right now. Maslin, Buchanan and McCauley were all right for the Rovers while it was Pavitt with two goals for Wagga Tigers and Stevenson, Gordon and Flanagan also made their better players. The Tigers still in touch with the, the finals and looking to be a nemesis again as they seem to be year in, year out. The ladder for Riverina Seniors Football has as the Lions on top with 12 and 1, they're right in this 92% on winning percentage. As are the MCU Goannas, they're 11 and 1, they're at 91.6 winning percentage. Colin Gully third with 8 and 5. Then it comes Wagga Tigers into the four at 7 and 5. The Coolerman Rovers on the free fall out of the four, they're at 7 and 6. Tevi Park 5 and 7. I reckon it's um, well game over for them. Leeton Witten at 3 and 10. Narandra two and ten the Griffith Swans bottom of the table one and eleven it brings us to this week's matches and round 15 Griffith get Kuhlerman a chance for Kuhlerman to get a win back on the board and they've been disappointing in recent weeks and over at Griffith X services they won't want to drop this if they intend to stay in touch they need a win and they should win Leeton Witten at home take on Turvey Park the Bulldogs will make the long road trip over to Griffith but it will be an advantage I think the Leeton Witten have improved. I think the Turvey Park Bulldogs uh, will get there in the end. It should be a close game though, this one. Probably the match of the round in some respects. MCU Goannas should easily beat Narandra at Mangapla and Wagga Tigers play GGM Lions and for a lot of people this probably is the match of the round will bet. I think the Lions are too good here and should put the Tigers and maybe cool them in to the advantage of, of the Tigers losing a match. The Colin Gully D's have the bye this weekend. Let's have a look now across at Farrah football. And the big one last week was the upset win by the Northern Jets, 15-10-100 to the North Wagga Saints, 11-12-78. It was no upset for me. These two sides were going to go at it from day one. They had an incredibly even match to three-quarter time where was leading the Jets, 10-8, to the Saints, 10-7. It was, in the end, Bell, two good up forward, along with Fisher, four and three apiece. And Fisher, Douglas and Jones, the better players, whilst it was Dennis with four for the Saints and Winter was their best player. And good form by Tamora getting over Borellan in the bottom of the table clash in a close one, 12 9 81 to 11 7 73. That was at Borellan too, so good for the Kangaroos. They've lifted themselves um, the, off the bottom with that win. Good effort uh, all the same. And Marabomba 6 6 42 beat East Wagga Karingal 3 9 27 to keep that top spot. And gee, they're showing some great form in a low scoring match. They trailed it by four points at three quarter time at Langtree Oval, which up there at Marabomba 
Carroll was a bit of a mud heap, but it wasn't to be in the last quarter when the Bombers responded to the challenge from the Hawks and put in three goals to nothing to win the match in a good effort. To Charles Sturt took on the Rock Yaron Creek, and the Yock Yaron Creek got their win that they desperately needed, 9-14-68 over the uh, CSU. 4731. It was a good performance from the Rock Yaring Creek. They had um, in the end nine individual goal scorers. Driscoll, he's a good player, this young Driscoll. Randy might have played over at Osborne, if I remember. Adams, Hannum, and uh, Adams Wright were the good players in the end for the Rock Yaring Creek. The Magpies live to fight another day this season. As we now go to this week's matches, and it is a very important round of round 16 competition in the Farrah Football League. It is is Collie and Billy taking on Mara. It's virtually at the bottom playing top and Mara will win it easily away at Collie and Billy. And then it's going to be East Wagga should beat Varellen at Gumley. North Wagga take on CSU should win at McPherson. And then the two arch rivals, the Northern Jets and Tamora Kangaroos here at Nixon Park. But I'll tell you what, um, the, the boys from Ardlethan and Araya Park should be too good for Tamora Kangaroos and keep their push towards a finals berth. The Rock, Erin Creek have the bye in Farrah footy.